Hello everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, the beginner's guide. Today we are going to be targeting the pterodons there to hopefully get ourselves a flyer. Now there's a couple of things that we need to um, sort out before we can get the flyer. One is we need level 38 because if we head on over to our, our engrams here, see that this this here is the, the saddle we need. I've double checked it and he's Type the name in it's the only one that comes in it won't tell you directly by hovering over it but it still picks it up on the search bar so you can see there that we can't get into level 38 however there are a couple of things we can do that's going to make that sooner than, than than what it is now so you'll notice we get the the um the little caches that drop every so often there's a good chance we can get a saddle for a pterodon or for the um, parasaurs, they usually drop one or the other, which is the, the other reason why we haven't got a saddle for the parasaur. So hopefully when the next one drops in, we can check it out and see if we can get one of the two saddles. But we can still tame it, but the, the, the problem we're going to have is if we tame it, we've got no way of feeding it, because the pterodons need fish. So there's a couple of things we can do. Now, now we've got a trike, we are much, much, much more sustainable. But trying to tame a pterodon as is is going to be a pain and well it's just going to be an absolute pain to do because we're going to end up firing rockets at its head of some sort and it's just not going to it, 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 we could potentially lose it and um, plus it's not an effective tame so we're going to start looking at other ways we can do it but the first thing i want to comment on is using your track effectively now you've seen that we can gather berries quite easily so any kind of long grass if you hit the long grass it'll gather it there um, if you struggle like this, you can feed him some of the berries back. Go ahead and feed him the stamina. Plenty of stamina. He's actually got a level. She, sorry, it's a she. He's got a level, so we're going to place that into uh, melee damage again. Oh, she gets all excited. Now, the reason why I keep saying melee damage and wait, because melee damage also allows us to take on other dinosaurs. Now... You're in an easy area, so the likelihood is you're not going to find many, many, many like dinosaurs that are going to attack you or anything like that. But if you go ahead and check, well, that's a level 26, so a level 50. Probably better not tackling that one with that one. She may take him, but let's not risk it. And we'll find ourselves a lower dinosaur. However, when you find the smaller dinosaurs that have also been attacking you, like the dil Dillos or uh, I think there's a dinosaur there that's... Potentially killable. Uh, stamina is not great on this big guy. Oh, yeah, there we go. We can go ahead, and if you just keep hitting it at the right time, uh, Pegos, they rob your stuff. Now, if you bite onto that, you'll not get anything for it. So if you jump off, whatever you need, so if you need hide or you need meat, we need hide because we need it for some various stuff. We can go ahead and just knock it off there. Because, because your trike is a herbivore, it's not going to um, claim the meat. But you can go around now and you can you can kill these smaller dinosaurs. Uh, make sure we don't launch it into the water. Come on. So gaining things like hide and meat is much, much easier now. There we go. Just go off there and... Eat it for his hide. So you can see there we've got plenty of meat and hide there. Obviously, the meat is basically for us at the moment, but it also provides a secondary for something else, which we'll get into. Well, there we go. Dillo's down. There we go. Excellent. Oh, it's raining. Not a problem. Now, as I said, if you want to travel further quicker, then your best bet is to just wind it, wind her up, and let her go. Don't hit anything, otherwise you're going to piss them off. As you can see, it travels much, much further on the energy that you've got. You lose the bit of energy that they had, but at least I've got almost home. Don't do it if you're in an area that you're going to struggle with. We've almost got her back home now. Now, obviously, we're still in an area that's really not defendable at the moment because, obviously, we've got no walls and stuff like that. But 
there's really not much on this section of the island that's going to bother you too much. You might get the odd one or two, but the trike should deal with it. We'll just park the trike up there. We'll just double check and make sure there's nothing in the inventory that we might need. There's a bit of wood there we can get, a bit of patch. We'll keep that on, on the trike at the moment. The seeds and stuff like that we can get rid of. So you can just quickly press the... As you can see, if you just right click, it'll tell you which buttons to press. But if you just press the old button there, we can just drop all these out. We don't need any seeds at the present moment. We can get plenty of the seeds at a later stage. There we go, just takes that out of them. That's plenty of meat, uh, plenty of food, sorry, for, for the tribe. Ooh, off the tail. I've stocked up a little bit, so I went out and grabbed some more berries. So there's plenty of food for the dinosaurs now. Keep petting a little trilly. That levels up them. Now we've got ourselves a level. Let's go ahead and drop into here. We got our fire going. We'll put the meat we've got in on there. Oh, we'll take the we'll take that stuff out of there. Take that stuff out of there. Put the meat out of there. I did get some fish and that was just uh accidental. <laughs> I went and got pestered by a uh piranha. Got a level up on our pebbles. Hello pebbles, how are we doing, buddy? Let's get your health up so you don't die as easy. Right, we've we've got our own level, so let's get our level done. We've actually got two points. So again, I'm going to continue with my movement speed because I want to be able to run away from the dinosaurs. We're at level 25. Now, I know at level 25, we can get a crossbow. Now, if you don't have the crossbow, the bow is absolutely fine. But if you can get the crossbow, use the crossbow because it's much, much better. Let's see what we need to build the crossbow. Crafting. Got our crossbow here. Where are we? Oh, you know what? I don't know why we can't build it, because we need the smithy table. We need the smithy now. To make some of the more advanced stuff that we've got. So let's have a look what it takes to build the smithy. There's the smithy. We're going to need some more hide, metal ingots, some stone and some wood. To get the metal ingots, we're going to need a furnace. Uh... I think it's just a third. Just a furnace we need now, I think. We're going to need a compost bin at some stage as well. We don't need a water reservoir because we've got we're right next to the river for now. We don't we're not using anything like that. It's a forge, not a furnace. Ignore me. Why is Engram campfire? That's absolutely fine. I spent too many game play too many games that call it a furnace. It's a forge. Okay, so, we're going to need fibre, flint, hide, and stone. We need 65 hide. So, we're going to need to kill a lot of dinosaurs. Uh, we've only got 16 hide plus the 18 we've just got. So, we're a little bit behind. That's absolutely fine. That's what we're going to be working on today. Whilst keeping an eye out for these drops. And that was quite a distance away. Yeah, it's quite a distance away, that one. The weather's not helping. Them birds are not helping. We can take the birds out with crossbows soon. Just shooting them out of the sky, robbing all my stuff. Okay, but what we can do, since we've got the, the bow and arrow, it's not the best thing in the world, but it still works for what we need. Oh, it looks like we've sat, it sounds like we've run out of uh, wood. If we can get the bow and arrow, we just need some fibre on us. Let's grab some fibre. We've got plenty of fibre which we've already gathered. We'll grab, craft ourselves a bow and arrow. Now the next thing we're going to need is trank arrows. But for trank arrows we need narcotics. And for narcotics we need a mortar and pestle. The mortar and pestle again is going to need hide. If we have a look at what else it needs. It's going to need hide and stone. So we'll grab hide and stone. Which we've gathered plenty of throughout our travels. Which is why I always say keep hold of stuff. Grab the mortar and pestle there. We've got our bow and arrow, which you can place on our bar there. That'll probably replace the slingshot now, so we can actually get rid of the slingshot. So if we place a slingshot in, we can remove the ammo. And we can either drop it, or when we get the smithy, we can we can recycle it. Go ahead and drop that. That's my berry storage. 
Uh, I don't really have a box for it, so I'll put it in my berry storage for now. This is just... We're going to be using quite a lot of this stuff anyway in a minute. But we've got ourselves a metal and port, uh, mess, pestle and mortar. And it's your choice whether you just whack it on the ground, if you want to put it on the ground. It'll just go there, if you want it to go there. Like so. Or you can get a little table, and you can put it on a little table. I'm actually going to put it at the back here for now. There we go. Now we can access the inventory. Right, so... It says, grinds resources into new items. We click on the consumables here, and drugs. You can see we can craft ourselves narcotics, because we've unlocked the narcotics. If you click on that there, it'll also show you what you can make. And we're going to need for narcotics, narco berries, and spoiled milk. Uh, spoiled meat. Well, milk might work as well, I guess, but... So, we can now go in, and we can check out, make sure I've not put any spoiled meat anywhere. I haven't. But I've got plenty of narco berries already. Any meat in there? Nope. But we might have some in our campfire now. No, we still don't have any in our campfire. But we've got 10 meat there, so I'm going to keep this 10 raw meat. And what you can do is you can actually place it inside here, like so. Place the berries. We can now craft the narco berries. And what's going to happen is, is that 10 meat is going to spoil itself, and then it's going to you know, give you more resources to uh, basically craft more narcos. What I can tell you to do as well, though, is if you actually transfer it, like so, and then split it, like so, you can see now I've got two in my inventory. If you've got something you're not doing, like say you just stood around doing nothing, you can go ahead and just get six of them to, uh, to spoil a lot faster. So if, we, if I keep that four in there and I keep six in my inventory, well, wait, it's a little bit of an issue if you're doing this while you're doing other stuff, but hopefully you're not doing other stuff. So what else am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to kill this chill right here. There we go. The chill bag is good for uh, chitin and pearls, so we always want to grab that. Sometimes it drops pearls as well, but the chitin is the main one, and you'll see that at a later stage. You can never have too much chitin, and they're always a little bit useful as well. Okay, so let's have a look and see if we've got any drops. We've got no drops dropping just yet, but that's absolutely fine. We've got a few pterodon. Yeah, we've got one there. Obviously, that's the track that we weren't going to bother with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop into the river here without them birds spotting me. So they're over there. So we're going to head on over here. Now, there's really in a shallow water like this, there's only two types of uh, fish you want to worry about. The first one is placid, which I call them carps, which are them ones that you can see. The second one that really isn't placid is the... Um, piranhas when you get the piranhas they they're a pain and um, now i because we haven't got so there you go so we've got six spoiled meat there straight off the bat six we're ready to go if we then come into here as you can see only one spoiled from the stack of four that we had we can then go ahead and craft all Plenty more narco berries because we're going to need them soon. So what we can do is we can do the same again. We can split them up. That's obviously the shift drag. And then we get four more. Yes, yeah, so the piranhas, the, because we haven't got a carnivore, we can't collect the meat off them. We will look at that at a later stage, but um, yeah, you want to try and avoid them as best you can. So you want to look for, we, we're only going to need a couple for now, uh, just to keep our tame, hopefully. So. I just had to t stay away from the larger opening of water. Because if you end, if you end up going into larger areas, then you, you're going to start facing um, sharks and all sorts. Go around and just look for a few there. I tend to get a stack of about 20 meat just to make sure we can pull the, t the tame off. Now what you can do is obviously once we've got the... Pterodon down and tamed, we can then, uh, or trank, should I say, we can then drop the meat on and look for more meat, which is probably what we're going to do. Keep an eye out. Now, 
There's an argument to say look for a high level team, but when you're trying to start off, you're trying to learn how to do everything, get yourself nice and comfortable with the lower level teams because they're just a little bit easier to, to handle with at first. The high level teams take a lot more to knock out and they're going to need a lot more meat. So, right. Let's head over to our little spot here. We've got nine here, so now we can start looking at crafting trank arrows. So we're going to need stone arrows. And to make stone arrows, we obviously need flint, thatch, and fiber. So we've got thatch, we've got fiber, we need flint. We'll grab the flint. And you really can't overcraft these. Because you're going to use them all. We're starving, so let's just grab a couple of meats. Okay, so we can just drop. Got our spur stuff off for now. You always want to craft as many trank arrows as you can, but because we've, you know, we're, we're only just starting off, we're probably not going to make more than this. Drop everything else in. We can make nine trank arrows, so hopefully that'll be enough for us. Craft all nine. There we go. What you can also do is, if you're short and stuff like this, you can also grab your. Um, you know, your stones. We've got 27 stones there, so we can go back to... Uh, here it is. Go back to your slingshot. Drag your slingshot on, just in case. Drop it on the top hot bar. Load it up. We're loaded. So now we want to get a bowler. So make sure you've got plenty of bowlers. Obviously, uh, we've been gathering the bowlers anyway, in case of emergencies. And then all you're going to want to do is you want to go looking around for... Oh, there's a drop there, and I may risk going for that drop. A little bit far, but we should be able to get there. We've got our bowlers, we've got run speed. So let's head on over to the drop, because I can't see any pterodons down at the moment. So we'll head over to the shallow part here. Now, you're going to st start finding yourself going into a territory that really isn't as friendly as what we've had. So just bear that in mind, and get ready to run if you want to run. Now, there is an argument, and a lot of people say kibble's a great um, taming resource, but the amount of work you need to put in to get the kibble... At this stage, I, I don't think it's worthwhile. For the larger teams and the high level teams, like the ones that you want to really get, like, as maximum a benefit as you can, then yes, kibble is definitely the way forward. And you're probably wondering what the hell kibble is, but don't worry about the kibble too much. Okay, yeah, we could run into a potential problem here, because that is actually quite a distance away. But we'll just keep an eye out. Okay, that's actually on the other side of that island there. And to get over there, we're going to probably face um, carnivores. So we'll, 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 give that, we'll give that one a miss, because I know there's sharks in between there. Okay, we're still starving, so let's get some more meat on us. There we go. We've got a moss chops. Put medjo berry in last slot. I don't think I'm carrying any medjo berries. No, I don't. Okay, right, let's head on back over because we're not going to risk that. Um, careful of compies. As a single compie, they probably won't bother you, but when you get three or four of them, like we are doing, they will start attacking you. You can kill them pretty easy. But, oh, there we go, there's another one, so they could start pestering us now. But yeah, if you, uh, if you have a few of them, they can really knock your health down pretty quick. The temperature's dropping now, so we're starting to freeze, so we're starting to use more food and stuff like that to keep us alive. So, because we haven't got the hide uh, armor that we that we really need at the moment, then we're gonna we're gonna head on back over, and we're gonna probably wait for daytime until we can. Well, that bird's gonna try and grab me. Okay, there we go. Running tired. Never run out of uh, ox, um, stamina while you're in the water. Because you're using stamina to keep yourself afloat. That bird's going to bother me. What you can do now that we've got a bow and arrow, we can actually make sure it's loaded with... Uh, you can right click, you can remove the ammo, or you can just drag the ammo on top of it and it'll load the ammo in. So if you want to chase the trank, or you want the normal... Got an hour though. Oh, we are, we're freezing to death. So let's just whack some heat on. Get a bit of wood. 
go. Go ahead and put half that wood into there. And light, light the fire. There we go. And that'll heal us. Right, okay, so we'll pop back when it's daytime and we'll see if we can grab ourselves a pterodon. Okay, it is now daytime, so let's find ourselves pterodon to acquire. Just a little quick pointer, just to let you know. Um, if you see this little symbol above your dinosaur, right there, means they're actually in range of the trough to feed. If there's no symbol, then they're not in range. See? Symbol, they're in range. They will tend to go for the trough over um, over anything else. But I do believe if they've got their own inventory, they won't touch it. So just be wary of that. Now, well, let's find ourselves something to tame. Okay, so we've got our first victim. So let's go ahead and grab our bowlers. I mean, you're just going to do the usual. And there we go. We've got him. So then we want to get our bow and arrow. You want to make sure you've got trikes in it. Tranks. Load up the tranks in there. Just headshot him. Like so. Oh, oh, oh. He's already out. Okay. Um... You just change, there we go. Okay, that was nice and quick. Just go place your fish in there. Then all you need to do is just wait for it to eat the first one. Now bear in mind the bowler has now been removed. So if he wakes up, he's he's gonna fly. Let's see how he's doing. He ain't eating yet. Just want to wait to see how much he's going to take. It'll also give you a good guide as to whether or not you need more fish on him. He's taking a while to eat. Bloody noisy snorer, I know that. How's he looking? His food's going down slowly. So hopefully one munch of his food will give us a good amount. You need Okay, so he's it's saved four percent tame. You can see though that, that this tame is not going to be uh, successful if we continue doing it as it is. So what we want to do is we want to head back to our base. Right, what's the level of that pterodon? It's just a level 22 pterodon, so that's why it's a little harder. Um, if you want to have an easier tame, then obviously go for a lower level. But all we need to do is, if we head back... Now, you can just pick them all randomly, but we've got so many, then let's not you know, waste time grabbing them. Let's see if there's any on our trike. Yep, we've got a full stack of them. So we'll take the two stacks. I'll just put my level in there, so we've got it. There we go. Give it a little bit more stamina for our trike. Just because we were running out of stamina. Now there is a drop coming in. Now as you can see there's a little bright spot on that line of blue. That's actually a good drop. So hopefully we can get to that drop. Let's see whereabouts it is. If it's on the coast we'll get it. And it does look like it could be on the coast. It is. You can see it just there. So we'll, we'll probably go ahead and get that. And hopefully we'll get one of the, um, one of the saddles that we need. So that's what we're going to aim for. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Okay, so he's not even halfway through consciousness just yet. So we can go ahead and carry on doing what we were doing. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to hunt for some fish now. Avoid the jellyfish. They are an absolute nightmare um, for you at this level. They're an absolute nightmare at a, at a higher level as well. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to try and take out some of the, uh, the carpy fishes. 
keeping an eye out now we're in danger area here now because you've got sharks about where did that fish just go let's go ahead oh we broke our okay, we managed to get a fish off it make sure your oxygen don't run out we need to go ahead and we need to make a new um, axe a little annoying so you're probably looking at quite a lot 30 fish roughly you can just go ahead and feed it now you're not going to get a good tame off it because you're obviously knocking it back out with stuff like that but i mean this is going to give us 10 levels already as it is so you're going to get a pretty decent level for a starter pteranodon i don't know why i called him pteranodon 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 yeah so, since we're out in the wild, we'll just grab a few fibers. Obviously, want to grab some. Oh, not fall over. Grab a couple of rocks. Come on. There we go. And then some wood as well. Should be enough to repair. There we go. Get it repaired. So again, we'll head back out and we'll try and grab some more fishies. How's it looking here? Okay, we're good there now. We'll grab some more fishies. Again, just keeping an eye out, making sure there's none of the sharks about. Oh, there's another fishy here. There we go. Now, chillabites don't give you fish, so we're not going to kill them. I mean... They're good, but this one's underwater, so it'll probably shoot off in that direction. And we'll struggle to get it anyway. I'm just going to keep an eye out. Just bear in mind you've got your tame though, so just keep an eye out, making sure nothing's going to come and kill it. You just want to keep yourself around the coastal area, so you can obviously get yourself back. And not have to worry about the sharks. The sharks won't be able to get over them top, so we're, we're tired. So just be careful of that, because you're using a lot of stamina while you're underwater. Get yourself on a rock here. Remember, you can use uh, any stim berries you might have in your inventory. Obviously, we don't have any on us at the moment. Just to eat our normal berries, just to keep our stamp our uh, food options open. Here we go. There we go. That's another one done. Nine more fishies. Okay, so hopefully we might have enough fishies to get it. I think we might be just a little bit low. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut here. We'll come back when we've got it, and then we'll uh, we'll probably call it quits at that for this one because we've done quite a lot of stuff already. We've got more meat, more food. We've got some building to be done. We've got a lot of dinosaurs to kill, and I'll probably do that all off camera so you don't have to watch me beating on dodos and trikes all day. Let's head to our pterodon. Let's see how he's doing. We're still only about halfway on the unconscious. Dropping some more. We're probably going to need a few more fishies. So I'll keep an eye on that. But uh, I'll see you all shortly. And welcome back everybody. And as you can see, we've got high time. High time is ready to fly. However, we've not got the saddle for it. Unfortunately, the, the um, crate that I went over and grabbed didn't have any in. Now, we can see that... that, that... He's got 10 fish meat left on him so he's going to be alright for a minute but we're going to start having to worry about feeding another mouth here because um, obviously he takes fish and we haven't got fish we've got a great support for her before us but this is our first carnivore so we're going to have to spend some time getting some fish but that's not a problem the fish can go into the trough and everything will be good but we'll keep these 10 fish on this dinosaur here now you may notice that our, a, our trike is here now don't be afraid to use the trike as your pack mule um, he's got a great amount of space in him, like so. Use it. Look at all the wood I've put in him. So I, I, I cut down all the trees there. Now the only concern I've got is that the trikes they, they hover around everywhere. So uh, sorry, did. Where are you going? Pteranodon. Pteranodon, whatever way you want to call it. But we can now head back to our base with our trike. I'll charge him up. And it looks like we've got a drop coming in near our base as well. So we may get a second chance of getting a saddle for... Oh, no, that's not, that is the one that's across the ocean now. We can go ahead and grab that one. And hopefully we can uh, 
get a saddle for either the Pelodon um, or and it's already on the ground. So we're going to jump over and grab that um, once we've landed. But that's going to be it for this episode. I don't want to keep it too long because I know it's been quite a long one already. Oh, it's just disappeared on us. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, so it's bad weather. It's good, you know we're going to start using a lot of our food to kind of struggle to um, keep our temperature and whatnot. So we're just going to park up here. I'm going to drop. I'm going to press the, the U button. And he's even going to... There you go. He's going to find a place to park, which is a pretty decent place, actually. And that's going to be it for us. Thank you very much for checking out this episode. I know it's been a bit of a drag one, um, but I really wanted to get a flyer just so you guys can see it, just in case you are at the level where you can use it or whether you've already got a saddle from the drops or whatever. You can now use that saddle. You can get out and fly. There's a couple of things that we'll cover when we get onto the flyers, but realistically, you're going to be absolutely fine once you do that. Do not, I repeat, do not fly into a low ground area. Don't go through trees with your flyers because there are things in this game that knock you off. Much as if you if you faced a raptor before where it pushes you off a mount, there are there are things in, especially in the redwood forest, that will push you off your mount. Be wary of that because it'll also do it for the flyer. Thank you very much, everybody, for checking it out. I will be covering a little bit of a build on the next episode so we can expand our base, get the smithy going, stuff like that. So I'll probably do some stuff off camera. But it's just going to be basically killing stuff. Uh, we'll probably use our trike to do most of that, or we'll go ahead and kill some more dodos. Um, but yeah, so we're at it. So let's uh, let's see if we're there. Until next time, everybody, take care for now. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.